Hey there, welcome to FM Language. In today's class, we will talk about the present perfect tense. The present perfect tense is used in very specific contexts. Again, we shouldn't be thinking of a timeline where we will locate actions and processes or events at some point. Nuevamente, como ya mencionamos en otras clases, no debemos pensar en este tiempo verbal simplemente en términos de la ubicación de una acción, un proceso o un evento en una línea de tiempo. This conception of time will not help at all. We need again to think of specific contexts with specific participants and specific needs and goals. Es importante pensar en contextos específicos con participantes específicos con necesidades y objetivos específicos. Let us take, for instance, the following dialogue between John and Mary, where Mary tells John, hey, we're about having something to eat, to which John will answer, I've already had lunch. So what is John saying when he says, I've already had lunch? ¿Qué está diciendo Juan cuando dice, yo ya he almorzado? Well, again, John is displaying some kind of attitude. An action has taken place, the eating of lunch, and that has had an impact on the here and now of speaking. What is important then is the connection that there exists between what has happened on the one hand and the way in which that action affects the here and now of speaking, the present. Una acción ha tomado lugar, el almuerzo, y esto ha tenido un impacto en el aquí y el ahora. Lo que es importante señalar es la conexión que existe entre lo que ha sucedido por un lado, y cómo esta acción afecta el aquí y la hora del habla, el presente. Did you know that all our lessons are free of charge? You're now enjoying this lesson on the present perfect, but I'm sure that you'll also like any of our other lessons on generative grammar, for example, or linguists in Spanish, or why not phrasal verbs. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and to explore all the different options that we've got for you. And if you like this poster, be sure to go to www.fmlanguage.com and download it for free. Most textbooks resort to the category recent event to make reference to this use of the present perfect. La mayoría de los libros de texto recurren a la categoría evento reciente para hacer referencia a este uso del presente perfecto. And we're totally okay with it. However, we would like to add again that there's always this sense of this action that has taken place affects the here and now of the present of speaking. Estamos de acuerdo con el uso de la categoría evento reciente. Simplemente queremos enfatizar que por evento reciente queremos decir un evento que ha tomado lugar y que afecta el aquí y el ahora del habla. Esa afección es expresada por el hablante. Take for instance the following utterance. I've done it. Tomemos la siguiente oración. Lo he logrado. In Spanish, lo logré. So when we say we've done it, or I've done it, or when we say things like I've read the book, what we're signaling is the completion of the action. And this entails, implicates a sense of achievement, a sense that the action is complete, that we've done it. That's basically the implicature. But in the here and now of speaking, an action has taken place and has an important impact for the here and now of speaking. That is, again, there's a sense of achievement, a sense of completion. Bueno, hay una acción entonces que ha tomado lugar y el hablante expresa esta, este sentido, esta sensación de completud. Esta es básicamente la actitud, esta sensación de fulfillment, decimos en inglés, de achievement, logro, que impacta en el aquí y el ahora. That's basically the implicature. Esa es básicamente la implicatura o sentido implicado. Well, there are a lot of other uses of the present perfect tense, and we will discuss them in future classes. And for the time being, it's important to highlight the fact that we will be concentrating on specific tenses used in specific contexts with specific purposes and goals by specific participants. Bueno, es importante señalar 
que hay muchos otros usos del presente perfecto y vamos a enfocarnos en ellos en futuras clases. Entonces, en otras clases vamos a hacer referencia al presente perfecto y sus usos en distintos contextos de interacción donde otros participantes van a hablar de sus intenciones y de sus propósitos en contextos específicos de interacción. Estamos promoviendo un enfoque más bien donde se va a enfatizar la especificidad de la cuestión. Again, we hope you have enjoyed our class. If that is the case, please subscribe to our channel, share it with fellow students and colleagues. And it's also important that you like our class so that you can receive updates on our programs. If you're interested in getting the posters, please log on to www.fmlanguage.com and you will be able to download them. Bye-bye. See you.